stole our uh, titles because he can't think original anyway. Um, this guy's too busy putting food in his mouth. He actually looked like he got fatter. This dude got fatter than when I last saw him. You know, crazy. I saw the, I was looking for my video and his video popped up, right? Uh, my video is trending more, so that's funny. My video will get more attention, and the more that he mentions it, his, his audience is going to come to my channel. Now, here's the thing. This is where I'm going to prove you he's a scam. So, this guy has 10,000 subscribers, right? We're going to make a review about him, and we're going to do all the optimization, and we're going to thoroughly analyze his video. Now, if this video is not giving, if this video is not going to get his audience, then you know his audience is fake, right? Now, this is a big one. His YouTube channel is fake. His subscribers are all fake. They're all bought. And I will prove it based upon the views that these videos get whenever I mention him. You figure he's talking about Pinnacle Credit Repair in every single video for many months. But where is the traffic coming from, right? You'll see in his comments that he deleted. He was so stupid that he posted up YouTube shorts complaining about people from different countries commenting and threatening him. Well, they're threatening him because they, he is buying views and interrupting their searching and their browsing and their game playing. And it's 13-year-old Pakistani people or Indian people or Kazakhstan people or Russian people, people that are not from America, right? We can assume. And they're mad because he, is, he bought some fake view stuff. And that's basically what's happening. And you can see his videos have literally no comments, no comments. And no one's even coming in our comment section. Guys, if you're from his channel, hop in the comment section. Guys, hop in the comment section. I want to see there. I will not delete your comment. No comments are deleted here. Join the comment section. Let's see what you got, okay? This guy's going to be proven uh, a fraud right here. Misrepresentation. So there was a guy, I forgot his name, but there was a phone call and basic basically uh the guy was misled so david what's his name i forgot his name already but everything credit llc this review is going to show you that they misrepresent misrepresent their services on their website let's go to their website right now uh just give me a moment let me log in or let me uh let's see Let me go in here. Okay, let's look at his website. And oh, look, when you <laughs> so we're in cognito mode. Okay, look at that. That's in cognito mode. And when you Google uh, his business right there, guess what pops up? My company, right? So I'm dominating his SEO because I'm not just uh, a credit repair expert. I'm also really, really good with other things. I'm, I'm a very intelligent person. My, my I-Core is in the 130s. Uh, sh let's see his IQ score. So mine's in the 130s and I'm not a dummy and I know how marketing works and I know how Google works. I actually used to work for Google and there's a reason why when you Google his business, mine pops up, okay? We'll go into that later, but like I said, um, this guy has only four stars on his Facebook. Think about this for a second. A guy that supposedly has 10,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel, why can't he have more reviews on his Facebook? Is it so difficult to get reviews on Facebook? Let me tell you something. No, he blocked it because he's afraid to get bad reviews. So he got, out of these reviews that you see, which are four, Two are fake and one we don't know. We know two are fake because it says a different for something else. And uh, the other is, uh, looks like his family member wrote him a comment. So this guy is not allowing people to leave reviews on his Facebook. Catch it quick. Catch it quick. He's not letting people leave reviews. Our review sites, we have so many. I think we have more than 20 websites where you can review Pinnacle. We're not turning it off. There are one-star reviews. They don't bother me. I don't leave, I don't leave sleep over one-star reviews because I know how I run my business and I'm very confident and I know how I treat my customers. And there's not anything anyone can say against me or my business. 
unless the customer is delusional or psycho, but we're very good at vetting out customers. I deny customers. I don't even take on uh, some people I don't. You have to qualify to work with me. So, um, you know, I know how I handle business. I know how to handle business. And, you know, there's, there's a one-star review up there right now that recently came on again from this guy. And I haven't even responded to it yet because I don't really need to because smart people can see through that and it's just, it's just a bunch of nonsense. So you have to ask yourself, why does this guy have no reviews? No transparency. No transparency, okay? No transparency, okay? And no rep, he has no reputation, okay? And uh, no, no, non-compliant. We're going to go into all of this. Okay, these are big ones right here. And charges up front. He says it's illegal to charge up front, but he does it, and he does, he does it in, in Georgia. So let's look at his website. He keeps on changing it. And it still looks like crap. So... Let's look at his packages. Okay, so. This package will incur a $150 processing fee. That's a legal upfront fee. That's a, what's a processing fee? That's a way he can try to word it. This guy's so dumb, he thinks he could reword it a certain way. No, it's a legal upfront fee. Processing what? You're not even doing anything. You mean processing the mail? Let me tell you how long it takes to send the mail out, okay? If you do certified, it takes a few days to get there. So that means you can't technically charge anything until the mail has been received and you got a response back and then you filed a, an additional uh, uh, complaint. That's how we're gonna get you, bro. So you're doing credit repair illegal just because you're doing it by mail right? You can't charge within, you have to wait like seven days, bro. Okay. Otherwise it's considered upfront. You can call it however you want, but this is how the attorney general is going to, is going to come after you. If you don't, if you're not careful, man. Right. So upfront right there, this guy has videos say it's illegal to charge upfront. You're charging up front there. Okay. Uh, let's see here. And he copied off our elite name as well. It's funny. This guy is like a big copycat. And then pre-litigation, okay? He copied off that. That's in our content. It's on our website, you know? It's, it's funny. So there, there is no transparency here. This doesn't tell you anything. This just tells you how much it's... it's uh, the, <laughs> what does this tell you, guys? It's just, it doesn't tell you anything. It doesn't tell you the methods. It doesn't tell you anything. It just says consumer laws. That's so bland. A fucking nine-year-old can say that. CFPB complaints, BBB complaints, attorney general complaints. You guys can do all of this yourself. You don't need to hire this guy, okay? Now you do enroll now, and where does it go to? See that? It goes to a third-party site, okay? It goes to a third-party site, which is PulseDisputeProcess.com. Okay, there is no, there, there is nothing. He's asking for all your information, and he's not even looking at your credit report, right? So don't give anyone your information until you get a consultation. He's asking for your social and all that. There, the website is crap. It's garbage. What else you got here? How it works. Once you have uploaded all the required documents, license, passport, state ID, bank statement, utility bill, I will be going through your negative items on your report one by one and challenging any correct, incorrect information. Okay. Introducing pre... Look at this guy. He looks so ugly. He can't even... Uh, Shave, dude. Look how he can't even shave. He has a weird mangy beard. He's fat, overweight, and he's in. That's his double wide trailer. That's a trailer. He won't show around his house. I show around my house, 
right? This guy's scared of where, so insecure where he lives, right? There's, there's literally nothing on his website, right? There's, what, what are you going to find on here, people? There's literally nothing on here. Like, there's, there, there's nothing. This is not helpful. This is just like a, this is nothing, okay? Then, let's look at this website address right here, okay? We're just looking at his website. This is on his website. If you have a problem with it, you want to flag it, well, you know what, don't put it online. So let's go ahead and put this in Google Maps, okay? So why doesn't he have a location? Okay, let's look this up. Okay, so do you guys see any credit repair business there? Okay, so that's the location right there. There's no everything credit. Let's, let's, let's put credit repair. Credit repair, okay? Yeah, there, there, there's nothing there. There is literally nothing there in that area, okay? There's no business here. There's nothing here. What is this place? You know what this place is? This place is Quality Auto Parts, okay? In Kirkland Roses, Milkland Roses. There's no credit repair office there. He doesn't live there, right? So what is he doing there? He doesn't meet people at, his, at that place of business. So we already know that's just a phony address. So we know that he's living in Georgia and credit repair is illegal in Georgia. And if you don't believe me, well, let's ask Siri. Okay, hold on. Give me one second. Let me ask this. Okay. Can Everything Credit LLC practice credit repair in the state of Georgia? So we're gonna message that in here and we will, sorry, I got, you know, I'm getting the cold, the weather's changing. Okay, so let's just look at this. Okay, guys, right here, read this. Hope you guys can read this. No, everything Credit LLC cannot practice credit repair in the state of Georgia as it is illegal for private companies to engage in credit repair activities in Georgia. Georgia has strict regulations in place to protect to protect consumers from predatory credit repair services operate ethnically and transparently it is advisable for individuals thoroughly to thoroughly evaluate and consider the legality of credit repair services offered by private companies before engaging with them okay so that's very very important okay you saw it right there, that's the answer. Now let's ask a follow-up question. Is everything Credit LLC considered a scam? Okay, you see it right here, people. Read it right there. That's what the computer generated, okay? Based on the search results, Everything Credit LLC is considered a scam. The company has been accused of engaging in questionable practices, including illegal... Hold on, the voice... The voice was still on. Okay. So, here we go. Based on the search results, Everything Credit LLC is considered a scam. The company has been accused of engaging in questionable practices, including legal credit sweeps and the sale of credit privacy numbers, which have been linked to suspicious activities, blah, blah, blah. So you guys saw it. And that voice, I don't know why that voice is still there. It's annoying. Okay. Now look at this. Additionally, private companies are not allowed to engage in credit repair. In Georgia, customer experiences and reviews of everything Credit LLC have been mixed with some reporting 
satisfactory results, while others claim to have fallen victim to fraudulent activities. It is important to exercise caution and consider the legality of credit repair services offered by private companies to protect oneself from potential scams and fraudulent practices. Okay, so we know that this is an illegal business. It's not operating legally. He thinks that by, you know, signing up these different things in different states is going to change anything, like opening up a business in another state, like Texas or Tennessee or whatnot. No, that's not. You are acting, you as a human, live and reside in Georgia. I'm not going to post his address here. His home address is in the description of the video along with the articles just search the worst credit repair companies on google let's do it for you right here i'm gonna do it live for you and ask yourself why so remember we're in incognito mode right people are so some people are so adamant about incognito mode okay sure we can do that no problem Give me one second. Let me figure out how to use this uh, phone. I guess this is incognito mode. Has to be. Okay. So we're going to look it up right here, people. The worst credit repair companies. Boom. So after all these ads, boom, right there. Look, oh shit, see that? Right there, it's popping up. Incognito mode. See that? That's what pops up. My video that I made before. And then you should see the article, uh, should see it. Guess we're not seeing it today. Okay. That that video is stealing the keywords. This may not be in cognito mode. Uh, just give me one second. Let me let me try it again. Okay. Let me try a different browser. I will try. Oh, that was Safari. Okay. That was Safari. That's why. So guys. Okay. Incognito mode right here. Safari. The browser is different from Chrome. Chrome is a bigger browser. So we'll go to Google. So you're going to find different results on Safari than Chrome, but this is what Chrome is showing. We'll type it into Chrome. Let me just voice it. The worst credit repair companies. Boom. Okay. Okay. Ooh, my video there. And then boom, right there, look at that, the link. Look at that, that article, wow. Here we go. So, like I said, if you're searching for the worst credit repair companies and that business pops up, that should be enough to tell you guys, okay? That should be enough to tell you right there. Right there. And this is definitely you know, incognito, you can see right here. <laughs> Some people are so funny. See, incognito. So yeah, you'll see everything about this person that you need to know. And these are the main things. Beware of companies that make unrealistic promises. So the, the video that you saw that said the worst credit repair companies, is, it's the one I uploaded before this. Watch that if you haven't already. But this guy is a total maniac. So let's dive into it again. This guy claims his business is 10 years, okay? He has a video that talks about an article of some stupid <laughs> company that he paid to write some article that is so like silly, right? He paid for that. That, that, that site has no credibility whatsoever, okay? And he's like celebrating 10 years. Bro, check the domain of everything credit. Let's look at this. 
how old is the website domain name everythingcreditllc.com? This is another red flag, okay? We're going to go to DNS Propagation Checker, and we're going to put in his website. Guys, we're just, we're just proving facts here. Dot com. Oh, let me put the phone right here. See that right there? It's loading. It's loading, loading. Come on, guy. Load. Oh, see? Two years, one month. It doesn't say 10 years, buddy. So you saw it right there. That's the website there. He's saying on his video and on, his, uh, on the other article that he paid for that his business is 10 years old. He flat out lied to you guys. We caught him on many different lies. One lie, two lie, three lie. He's calling me a liar. What have I lied about? You're, you flat out lied. Your business is not 10 years old, buddy. It's two years old. Do you want to know who's a business that's 10 years old? Let's look at this. We'll type in my business. Okay. This is a 10 year old business, buddy. And he, he, this is so funny because, oh my God, this guy's psychotic. My business is 10 years old, so he copies off that 10-year mark. Like everything that I do, he copies. His recent uploaded video, he copied off of all of my titles and my, my hashtags and everything. And it's three minutes long. This guy can't even talk for an hour. Try to listen to him, try to listen to him for an hour and listen to me. Who, do you, who are you going to choose? He's going to talk like this. Like a fucking hillbilly. So let's go back because we want to be factual about this, guys. Okay. So let's go to Pinnacle. Sorry, this is a little bit hard for me to see. I'm not really used to, that's not accurate. It's actually 10 years old. How old is a domain name Pinnacle Credit Repair? Pinnacle Credit Repair dot com. Yeah, that's not accurate, guys. <clears throat> Interesting. Is Pinnacle Credit Repair 10 years old? I could have sworn it was 10 years old. I saw it the other day. Either way, it's more than, and I've been in, I've been around. I have actually videos of credit repair that are that old from 2010, 2011. I can post them. You can just go to my Instagram. Okay. That's the main point. Okay. So there, obviously there's different businesses that you can do, right? And the experience is what counts because who's actually doing it? It's me. So if I'm doing it for that long time, then that's what that's what matters. So I can show that you can, you guys can just look at my, my channel, look at my other, I have other YouTube channels. I have other Instagram and social media. Let's, but let's look that up. I'm curious about that. So let's go here.
Yeah, I don't know. See, it says, says seven years, see? It says seven years right there. Seven, you round up to ten. No, but I'm telling you guys, it has to be ten years old. That has to be ten years old. Why is it saying only four? You want to know why it says four? Because what happened, I'm going to tell you guys why it says four. Because it was parked and then it was bought, right? It was parked for a little bit. Still saying the same thing. I don't know why it's saying that. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Seven years is fine. It's better than two years. He lied. He lied. I've been in business for seven, for 10 years. I can show you emails, right? That are 10 years old. I could show you videos of me doing a seminar that are like nine years old. Okay. Damn time flies. All right. I started, I started credit repair when I was 22. Yeah. I started credit repair when I was 22 and I'm now up there, right? Like 35, something like that. Okay. Uh, no transparency on his website. There's nothing, it doesn't tell you what you're getting. No reputation. There's no reviews. He has no reviews. The only reviews that he has are just tampered and unverifiable screenshots with little watermarks. Dude, no one's going to steal your stuff, bro. No one takes watermark credit repair reports serious. If you want to make a review, you have to actually bring people on like me on my channel, right? Like Ricardo, like anything I say, this guy just denies. Guys, this should be enough for you to like not trust this guy. We prove, number one, misrepresentation. He's, he, he's not doing business for 10 years. He says to that cu customer that's on a recorded phone call that it's going to take six months. Then when the six month period comes, he finally says, oh, it can take up to a year. But the guy paid for six months of service and now he has to pay more. So that's where he's nickel and diming you. The guy said it. They string you along they, to soak you up, right? Uh, Non-compliant. He's doing credit repair in Georgia. He lives in Georgia. That's why he flagged my last video because I put his trailer park house as a thumbnail. If you guys want to view where he lives, he lives in a dirt road in a trailer park. Look at the link below uh, in the description and you, you can see where his uh, everything credit. You can just Google everything credit. You'll see Pinnacle there because I dominate his SEO and I dominate his brand because he is my, you know, my little bitch. And, uh, you know, you're going to see where the Georgia Registry of Corporations, it's had his trailer park that his grandfather, like he inherited from his grandfather. Congratulations, buddy. Actually, it's called a container. What it, so let me get this straight. So your mom, she actually messaged me on my YouTube months ago, and it's on my community page. Guys, subscribe, like this video, go to my community page. If you really want to look into this, probably don't, but you can scroll down to my community page. You can see the message that his mom sent. His mom spilled the beans, beans for him and said it's a container. It's two containers put together, but two containers. Well, a trailer park is a, 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 a trailer is a container in the sense, you know, so it's a trailer. It's not a house. It's a mobile home. You took two containers, put it on, then you put a roof on to mask it as some house. But we looked at the real estate there, the property and on Zillow that it's like 35,000 for that. It's like the same price as one of my motorcycles. That's pathetic. Are you going to trust a guy that lives in a trailer park? Okay. Seriously, that's not a professional guy. A guy that's fat and has a beard and cannot even control what he posts. The garbage that he posts on his channel. It's just so toxic. Here's everything factual. Okay, this might be a little harsh, but this is the truth. This is your money you got to be concerned about. People pay me thousands of dollars. 3000 5000 some even $10,000. People call me. I don't even pick up the phone. They leave me a message. They send me their stuff. They, they, they send me money from Lord knows where because they trust me. Okay? I'm just telling you guys the truth. I have nothing to hide here. Right? This is, this is where I live. I've shown where I live. I'm not afraid. I'm not bothered by it. And this is, this is it. Charges up front. 
He's a hypocrite. He's doing credit repair illegal in Georgia. He's a hypocrite. What else? What else? Oh, this, this, you may not care about this, but this guy calls my business every day. So this is what he did. He set up an auto dialer where basically um, he would call my business and mask the number as different businesses. And then he'll think I'm so stupid to pick it up. But he doesn't realize my phone goes to voicemail and that don't work on me. <laughs> it goes to voicemail, people uh, hear the message, and then they can decide what to do. The voicemail gives them instructions. Okay, so this is how weird this guy is. He's actually, um, he went on WeWork and Upwork to stalk one of my employees and to try to get him to betray me. Think about that, a guy, a business owner, that has the time and the spitefulness to talk to other people's uh, employees and try to get them in trouble. That's not nice, that's not respectful, that is sociopathic, that is not something that I would ever do. I didn't, I've never called him other than to call him to say, hey man, let's just end this. You know, I don't, I don't, this is not good for any one of us. For me, it's actually good for me, it's not good for him. But I just don't want it. I don't want to have that bad blood. But he said, okay, I'm going to delete the videos. And then next day, he put up a bunch of stuff. So this is a guy that has no backbone. And this is a guy that you can't trust. This is a guy that has some hate in his heart. And he doesn't have the courage to come to me and apologize like a man. I apologize to him and say, hey, man, you know what? We had, we had some misunderstandings. Uh, but obviously it wasn't under a misunderstanding. You're a flat out liar. We prove that you are a flat out liar in this video. There's nothing that you could say against uh, you doing credit repair in Georgia. You live in Georgia and people will find out about you. The link is in the description below and everything credit LLC is exposed and you're going down in the garbage, okay? There's no way to put it. And this, is a, this isn't out of spite. I didn't post a video for like a month, <laughs> you know? I've been... I've been doing other things, right? Things that matter more to me than your nonsense. But there's gonna be more content uploaded about this, okay? I dare you to get a Yelp account because it's gonna be flooded with negative reviews of people that are legitimate customers. One thing that we don't do that you do, you make fake reviews, you lie through your teeth, you're a pathological liar, okay? You have some serious problems. Like on his, there was at one time, my video, uh, he made a video about, he made a video, I don't think it's still there. He made some video and posted on his main page. Like why would you put a video about Pinnacle on your main page? That like, it's so weird. It's so weird. Okay, so we're going to desktop version. It, was, it used to be up there. It's not up there now. Is it up there? No, it's not on here. But it was like labeled narcissist or something. Like this guy like finally learned, he, he, this guy likes to copy off words that I use. And he thinks that he knows what they are. He thinks that he can just copy what people say and then he becomes an expert at it. First of all, you're not a psychologist, you haven't studied that. And if you look at the behaviors that you administer, it fits the description, not me, okay? I have clients that are psychologists and psychiatrists, and yeah, man, don't, don't fit, the, don't fit the, uh, that category. But for you to actually put that on your website and then also make content and harass my employees and then lie and then call people that you don't know liars, it says a lot about you, bro. So you are exposed again. This company, Everything Credit LLC, do not work with this company. You don't have to work with me. In fact, don't even sign up with me, okay? If you see this video, don't even sign up. Don't even call me, okay? Sign up with somebody else. Okay, but don't sign up with this guy.